Fourier transform is named after the mathematician uh, Joseph Fourier, uh, who introduced or discovered the Fourier transform while um, while seeking for solutions for the heat equation, in fact, in the uh, early 19th uh, century. He postulated that every function, continuous or discontinuous, can be decomposed into sinoids, into sines and cosines, which is not completely true, but it's true in the kind of functions and signals that we, en that we encounter in everyday life, like um, television signals, cell phone signals, electromagnetic waves, or even the price evolution of, the, of your favorite stock market. So what is the Fourier transform? The Fourier transform is both a term used for the transform itself, but also for the transformed function itself. The Fourier transform transforms a function uh, in time or space to the so-called frequency domain. So that means that the function, the transformed function, uh, encodes how much of every frequency, so how much of a sinusoid of a particular frequency is present in the signal. Since its, since its discovery, it had wide-ranging consequences, not only in mathematics, but in physical sciences in general, well, in inverse problems, for instance, one of, the, one of the main problems that people are dealing with is magnetic resonance tomography, where the problem is to reconstruct an image from only a partial knowledge of the Fourier transform.